Hilchis Chiyo Matona Perik Revi. HaMekabalus HaMatona V'Zochabo. He received the Matona and he made a Maisa Kinyan in it. Ba'acha Shabos Liyodi V'Oshesik. He received it and he was quiet. Now it's Chazer, but he changed his mind. Va'omar Eini Reitzi, but I don't really want this Matona. Oi Eini Mekabalus, I don't want, I'm not accepting this Matona. Oi Harehi Betela. Which we don't believe him because we we because we're talking about a mum the begoli and we assume that he already saw the mum before and nevertheless he accepted it. So of all these is shenus he says any reitziba any makabla arei betela mum zendirali ba liomer klum. So it's not really nullifying the ma'isa matana. Ukshem shein anesin yochel lazerbe just like the the, the the person that gave this matana can't have charot and take it back. Once it was given, and he was zeicha, and he was sheisik. Is kacha mekabel eni yochel lachzer be'achish zeicha. Once he was zeicher, he can't retroactively say that the maton is not a maton. So therefore, when he says, for example, harei ubetela, or even if he says mumza nirali bo, which is trying to make the matonic ilit, there was no matona. There was we don't believe we don't believe him because we never there was a mumshe begolis. So we assumed that he was mekabel. So Memela, so therefore he can't nullify the Nesinus Matona. Now that's all when he's trying to say in the Ovar that this Matona is not really a Matona. And he can't do that. He can't say Harei Ubatela because Lepela wasn't bottled. However, when a Matona Zusha Amar HaMakabal Eni Reitzu Bo'ach Shabbos Liyadi, that was really the first Lushen that the Ram said was Eni Reitzu, I don't want it. See, even though Lepel, he can't undo the Matona, he can't say that the Matona is not a Matona, Lepel, the Matona was a Matona. But Lepel, since he's, this is an item that he received, and now he's saying Eni Reitzu Bo'ach so therefore Arei Hefker. So by saying Eni Reitzu Bo'ach, he's making this Matona Hefker, and Memele, as a result of that, is kol hakedem ba Whoever will be kedem and take this matan, will be zecha. Will ever take this item is zecha. Why sharif kira hamekabel acher shud zecha ba? Whereas we're not taking this any reitzba to undo the nesinas hamatana. The matana was given from the nesin to the makabel, and the taka belonged to the makabel. But since right now he's expressing any reitzba, any reitzba, so memela it's considered that it's considered a ma'aseh hefker. Now if he says harei b'teila. So he's saying that it's bottle. So the pastors, he's trying to say that the Nesina was bottle. It's not bottle. The pill, there was a mice Nesina. And he gave it to him. And Memele, since we saw him giving it to him, let's say this, clear that he gave it to him. So the fact that he's saying, Harei Betele, the pastors is not going to do anything. Masha'enke, when he says, Eni Reitzibo, so over there, he's not, he's, he's saying, I don't want this, uh, this item. So Eni Chinami is, the, the Matana was a Matana, but the he doesn't want it. And by saying Eni Reitzibo, he causes that the item should become Hefker. Avil, that's talking about if while he received the matana, he he received it, and the pale it was it was maskim, and now he's saying any reitzibah, so mamele is becoming a, a half. So as so knows if he received it, so it became his, and now by saying any reitzibah, he's making it hefker. Avil mayitzivech miikara, but if the pale he was originally screaming, he knows he chatchila said I'm not interested in this matana. The person was giving him the matana. He's saying I'm not interested in the matana. The Makabal wasn't the Kaina, and the Chizer is Labayla Marishen. So the Pashtun, the way the Ram is as a, that when a person gives a Matona to someone, and the Pashtun, he received it, and he was Makabal, he made a Maisa Kinyan in it, and now he's coming along and saying, I wasn't I wasn't happy with it. I, I like it, Balti. In other words, or any mekablo, arei b'teila. So he has no right to do that because Lepel he became the recipient of that matana. Mashainkin when he says any reitzibo, so ena chinami he can't be mavatel the nesinus amatana. But by saying any reitzibo, he's making it hefker, and therefore anyone that wants could be could be zeichanet because he's not undoing the matana. If he would be undoing the matana, so then it would go back to the Baal of Rishenim. He's not undoing the matana. He's just saying any reitzibo, which is a is, which is a, a declaration of hefker, and therefore kol akedim zbazocha. If, however, he was metchilavatz, chatchila, he was tzivech, he wasn't happy with the matana, so then it's not hefker, then the pshat is that it wasn't a matana. So therefore it belongs to the Baal of Rishenim. Halacha beis. Hamazake lechaveri b'matona yidei acher. Person gives someone an item, to be zoichar for someone else. Reuven gave Shimon an item that Shimon should make a ma'isek kinyan for Levi. Hamazaka lechaveri matona yidei acher is kivin shehirzig ba'acher. Once Shimon makes a ma'isek kinyan for Levi, he gains shemoshe hametaltlin. Either he made a ma'isek mishich on the metaltlin that Reuven wanted to give to Levi, or he gives shtara karka liyodi. Reuven wants to be makne karka to Levi, and he gives it to Shimon to be kind of the shtar on his behalf. Or he hirzig be karka. Shimon did a ma'isek chazaka. 
on this karka for Levi with instructions of Ruvain. Is all these cases is zocha chaveri, so Levi is zecha. Avo pishali he gia ma'atona liyade, even though the pale he didn't actually receive the matona, it was only done by someone else, and therefore as a result of that, ena nesin yachal azerbei. So since there was a ma'isa kinyan that Shimon did, but for Levi, so now Reuven can't have charata. However, Reuven take can't have charata. Avala mekabel, but the pale Levi is yodi al holyena. He doesn't have to take the item. Im rotsa if he's interested in the item is mekabel. However, in Leiratza, if he doesn't want Eina Mekabel, why? Because the whole idea that Shim could be Zeicha for Levi is based on the idea of Zochan Lo Adam Shleibafanov. You could do a Maises Chus for someone Shleibafanov. The Maises Chus to do something for Shleibafanov is only if that person wants. It's not a Chus to be Zeicha something for someone if that person, the Fedish, doesn't want. So, Shezochan Lo Adam Shleibafanov, Ve'en Chavon Le'el Bafanov. Uschusu, it's a schus, a tinosli matonim yirza, that a matona that he is gifted, he should receive if he wants. Avalum le yirza, a nesn matona laden balkarche. A person can't receive a matona balkarche. So therefore, Levi is always has the option to say, I don't want to be in Kabbalah. Originally, you know, so he can say, I'm not interested in it in the first place. Masha'enk and Ruvin, once he gave it to Shimon to make him a Kenyan for Levi, see, even though Levi is not, it's not mamish Levi's in the sense that Levi can still have Charata, but it is Levi's in the sense that Reuven can no longer have Charata. Levi already has a Maisa Kenyan in it. I'll call upon him that Levi can have Charata. Halacha Gimel, Zich Kelea Yedeacher. He was Mezaka through someone else. And as Reuven gave Shimon an item to be Zeicha for Levi, Ukshe Shama Mekabel Shosak. And originally Levi was Shosak. Vachar Kach Tzovach. And then after that, he started screaming, saying, I don't want it. So before we had the case when a person was Shosak, they gave him the item and he was Shosek and Machar Kachzovach. We say that since he was Shosek, that's a, a riot that it was his. And Mel, it's his. And the Tzovach can't undo the Shosek. Mashenkin over here, over here, he never really received it. Someone else received it on his behalf and he knew about it and he was Shosek. And, but later he was Tzovach. Again, Zikale Aidacher, someone else was Zeich on his behalf. Ukshishama Mekabel, when the Mekabel heard about it, the Shosek, Abavachar Kachzovach. And for Omar, any makabel, I don't want to be makabel. So we hear how is the sofik. What's the sofik? Im zeshe shosak kvaratzel. Pale since he was shosak when he heard. Marshal in this case with Reuven, Shimon, and Levi. When when Levi heard that Shimon was zeicha for him, so Levi was shosak. So maybe so maybe he was already zeicha. How is the sofik? Im zeshe shosak kvaratzel. So he was agreeing. To the to matana, and vizesh a chazav et zavach is chazav, and now he's having charata. So just like as if he would have received it, and then having charata. So his charata can't be a charata because lepeli received it. So over here also his charata can't undo his shasak because lepeli is only having charata. Or no, or his shasak when pnei shadai lehidia he gil liyadiklum. Because his shasak is not really a raya that he wants. He was shasak. He heard about it. He didn't take it seriously. And Vizesh at Tzavach, now Lepel at the end, when he hears about it again, and it's, it's talking about giving it to him. So now he's all of a sudden Tzavach. It's, it's, so here there's a Suffolk, whether or not this Kenyan is a Maisa Kenyan or not. My Nafkemina, he doesn't want it anyways. Nafkemina is whether it belongs to the original owner. So in other words, if we're going to say that Chiyach Seifi Al Tchilose, that Lepel, he was never really Mekabalid, so the item belongs to the original owner. Masha'enkin, if we're going to say that it's not really a chiyach seifi al tchilasi, so even though right now he's expressing that he doesn't want it, and it becomes hefker, but someone else could be kainit, because lepeil is hefker. Originally he was kainit, now it's hefker. Lefichach. Im kodem acher v'zochah bolatzme, if someone went ahead and was zeichen it, no, it's not the original owner, someone else, and there's a suffix whether or not he could be zeichen, because the question, if we're going to say a chiyach seifi al tchilasi, it still belongs to the original owner. So, but lapel, it's a suffix. Maybe it doesn't belong to the original owner. Maybe it's hefker. Is memela a mitzim miyadi? Why? Because shema mekabel zocha. Because maybe in reality the recipient Levi was taka zecha. And v'kivin shama in the reitzer bo harei of kira k'meishu ma'arnu. And and v'zesh shekodim v'lochem and a hefker zocha. Now there's a possibility that that Levi was zecha because really he was maskim. I is tiny now in the reitzer bo. Right now he's being mafkaret. And no, if he's now right now being mafkaret, so someone else could come along and be and be zecha. However, after someone else was zecha, so what happens is Ruvain gave Shimon an item to be zecha for Levi. Levi originally was quiet, and then Levi started screaming. 
And now Yehuda goes ahead and is Zoich on this item. So we say it could be that it was Taka Levi's, and now when he started screaming, he was Mafkarit. So therefore, Yehuda has a right to take it. However, but now Reuven, the original nation of the Matona, went ahead and takes it away from Yehuda. Is a mitzvah You can't take it away from Reuven as well because Shema Makabel is Zocha. Maybe it was never Levi's. So it comes out there was never a Maisekinian. So Memele always belonged to Reuven. And Yehuda never had a right to be Koinet. So Memele, so this is a Matzav, which is a Suffolk, whether or not it was ever Levi's. And Memele now is Hefker, or it was never Levi's, and therefore it belongs to Reuven. So Memele, if Yehuda is Koinet, it makes a Maisekinian. So it's his. And you can't be Moisei Miyadi, Masha'enkin, if, if Reuven grabs it out of Yehuda, so again, you can't take it out of Reuven, because it's a suffix, if it's Reuven's or Yehuda's. Halach HaDalet. Reuven shirotza litin meya dinu l'shimen. He wants to give a hundred dinu l'shimen. V'sholuch lehamea yedei levi. And he gave levi the hundred dinner to bring to Shimon. So Reuven wants to give a hundred dinner to Shimon, and he uses levi to give the hundred dinner to Shimon. Now, im amr lis chebe meyazuz l'shimen, make a maise kinyan in this meyazuz for shimen. Oi, he said ten meyazuz l'shimen, he said ten meyazuz l'shimen, which ten kishchi? So meyel is as if he's saying give it, it's as if he's saying being zeicha, is eni yochel azabe, because lepeil, he gave it to him and he made a really a maise kinyan for the recipient. And meyel, the giver can't be have karata. However, im amr le hoylech meyazuz l'shimen, he just said, deliver this Meazuz L'shem. He didn't say, give it. And he didn't say, bizoichen it. He just said, deliver it. Hoylech Meazuz L'shem. So then, as Yachal Achzerbeid, that's clearly Hoylech is Nafkeschi. So therefore, he never authorized him for him to be Zoyche in this money on behalf of Levi, on behalf of, uh, of Shimon. And the Meazuz Yachal Achzerbeid, actually, Yagi Ameel Yad Shimon until Shimon actually gets the money. Halachahe. Now Holach Levi b'mei zuz shnishtal chiyim elay lichon l'shimen. Levi went with this hundred zuz which he was supposed to deliver to Shimon. Now Ubike Shimon, he's looking for Shimon v'lei matzo. He doesn't. He didn't find Shimon. So the din is Yachzul Reuven. So he has to return it to Reuven. Now Reuven gave him money to lohay lichon l'shimen hoylech. So b'mei it still really belongs to Reuven. He just has to give it to Shimon. Now Ubike Shimon v'lei matzo. So therefore he has to give it back to Reuven. Now, Mes Shimon Bechai Reuven, if Shimon died, so then Yahzel the Reuven Eliyarshev. So then you have to give it back. Reuven is the, the one that owns the item. It never really belonged to Shimon because he told them, Hoylech, the money to Shimon, and Lepel, Shimon died. So mainly he has to give it back either to Reuven or to Yarshev. However, Mes Reuven Bechai Shimon, Reuven gave Levi money to Hoylech to Shimon. So it's not really Shimon's money yet, it was still Reuven's money. And now Reuven died. Reuven died Bechayi Shimon. So the din is, that was a new din. So even though the money really doesn't belong yet to Shimon, and Lepel, Reuven died, the person that instructed him died, so Lechura, he should give it back to the Yarshim of Reuven. Over here the din is no, Yitin HaMeyel the Shimon of Yarshim. He should still give the Meya to Shimon or to Yarshim. Why? Because here's a new din. Shemitzvah Lekayim Divri Ames. There's a mitzvah that came divri ames. Avol pisha amar advan v'hubari. Even though they don't have this din of divri shchiv mirakiksuv mimsurin dami, you have a din over here that he said it when he was a bari. But nevertheless, there's a din of mitzvah that came divri ames. Shari hameya biyodesh shleich adayin. Whereas if this meya would have, when a person says to do something and he's a bari and he didn't give it biat sholish, so we don't say the din of mitzvah that came divri ames. This din of mitzvah that came divri ames is in this case Ruvain gave it to Levi in order to bring to Shimon. And Lepel, it wasn't Shimon's yet. And Lepel, it's lying by Levi and Reuven died. So since it's Biat Sholish, and Reuven instructed him to give it to Shimon, even though he said Hoylech. So it wasn't yet Shimon's and Reuven died. So here we have the din of Mitzvah Lekayim Divri Ames when it's Biat Sholish, even though it's not owned yet by that person that's the recipient. Halacha Vov. Einod Mzeichib Maton in order for someone, like in the case, Reuven sent Levi to be Zeicha the Meya the, 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 the Mea Zuz for Shimon. So in order for Levi to be able to be Zeicha for Shimon, Levi has to be a Godl and a Bendas. And the Echad Ish Vechad Isha, it doesn't have to be a Isha, it could be Echad Ish Vechad Isha, and Vafilo Eshesish, or Ve'eved, Veshivcha, 
anyone, as long as they're a godl and a bendas, they can be zeicha for someone else. Aval hagoi, a goi can't be zeicha for anyone. Aval hagoi ain't a zeicha. Hail the ain't roy l'shlichos leilam. Since he'll never be roy l'shlichos, so therefore he can also not be zeicha. In other words, a cotton, a cotton will be roy l'shlichos. So that's a cotton. If he would be a bendas, so he would be able to be zeicha lacherim. The pale of cotton also can be zeichel acherim because the cotton is not a bendas. But be'atzem, since he's roy lishlichos, lishlichos, he could he's bechlal in the union of schia. You could be zeicha for the cotton, but I'll call, you could be zeichen for the cotton as we'll see by hamshech. Mashenk a goy, a goy, since he's not bechlal shlichos la'elam, so he's not in the parshas of schia at all. He's not not in the parsha of being zeichen for someone else, and also not in the parsha of someone being zeichen for the goy. Avol goy ain't a zeicha. Hail vein the royal shlichus leilam, kach in a zechel yisrol, he can't be zechel yisrol. Ukshem shen yisrol nas a shlech le goy. Just like a yid cannot become a shlech for a goy, so al derazek kach in a zechel le goy. So a goy, a goy cannot become a shlech for a yid, and a yid cannot become a shlech for a goy. So a goy, a, a goy is bechlal not in the parsha of schia. Mashenk in a cotton, as we'll learn by Hamshir, you could be zechel for a cotton. But on the other hand, the cotton can be zeich for someone else, not because he's not in the parish of Skiya, because he's missing das. Allah chazayin. Cotton, shenoisen litzroyer v'zerke, egez v'noitli, knows he has enough das to understand the difference between a pebble and a nut. Is zeich la'atzmei, so that's considered enough das that he should be able to be zeich la'atzmei. However, ve'en is zeich la'achir, for others he can't be zeich because it's not enough das. Now, poch is mizef, he doesn't have this avona of tzroyer, Vizirke egas venetle is le zochel atzme and certainly le lacher. Vechein ashoita is also in a zechel le leve le lacher. Just as a cotton which doesn't have das is in a zechel le leve lacher. And a shaita obviously is, doesn't have das. Menela is in a zechel le leve le lacher. Now we have mezaka le shaita yidei ben das. Someone that's mezaka to a shaita. So even though right now he's a shaita and he can be zechel atzme. But nevertheless, I'm a zacher l'sheita. You didn't das a zacher. Avlachet. That's an alder zef. You're a as We'll soon be hamshich a cotton, which is a which is a very small child. He doesn't have das to be zechel atzmi. But from that thing, you could be mezaka for him. So in other words, you could you could be zochen for a cotton, and you could even be zochen for a sheita. Avlacheresh is zechel atzmi. Mishu biyanu bilchus gzela. So a cheresh is like a cotton. Which could be zeichel atzmi. He can't be zeichel acher, but he can be zeichel atzmi. A cotton, if he has das tzirer v'zerke eges v'neitle, so he could be zeichel atzmi. He could never be zeichel acher. A shaita could not be zeichel atzmi nor acher, but someone could be zeichel for the shaita. And a guy is bechlal not in the pasha of schia. He can't be zeichel for anyone, and no one can be zeichel for him. Now zochen lekot na filu beimechad. You could be zeicher for a cotton, even if the cotton is a yemechet. Now, this din of zochen le cotton is a machlek zerishenim. Is that a din de raisa or is that a din de rabon? In other if you hold schia mitam shlichos, so the chure, since le pale cotton is ene bechlal shlichos, he, he can't be mana man shliach, so mainly he can't have someone to be zeicher for him as well. And the fact that you could be zeicher for a cotton is only a drabon. If you learn schia is a new din, it's not a din really, it's of shlichos. So, mele, so then, you could be zeicher for a cotton even the rice. The Magnishna says, and that based on the Rambam Hilchas Mechira, that that the fact that you could be zeicher le cotton is a din de rice. The fact that you could be zeicher le cotton is not a din de rabbanon, not like other ishenim. The Ran in Kedushim which says that being zeicher for a cotton is a din de rabbanon. Mashein Kain, the Rambam holds that being zeicher for a cotton is a de rice of the kedin. Allah chachas zochin le cotton, afilu beim yemechad. Even if the cotton is a yemechad. And also Ola Godel, and that's Bain Bafanov Shle Bafanov. A cotton is always Shle Bafanov, even if he's here, it's, it's considered Shle Bafanov. And you can be Zeicher for a Godel, even Shle Bafanov. Now, the Chatzer is Shalodom, Kainel is Shle Midaite. A person's Chatzer can be Kainer for him, Shle Midaite. Afal Pishain Emetshom. Kivin Shigia Matona le Chatzer, once the Matona reaches his Chatzer, is Kielu Zachele Baacher, just like someone else would have been Zeicher for him. So he could have been Kainer, Zalderos at the Chatzer. Could be kain on his behalf. The the zocher the 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 chotzer could be kain on his behalf, uh, uh, just like uh, uh, someone else would be able to be kain on his behalf. Halacha test: Bamedvar mamurim that a chotzer is kainer. 
that's bechotzer amishtameres. Avol bechotzer she'ein mishtameres ki gein sodeu vechurvase. So then the soder is not kainu for him. Ad sheyeh emed betzida v'yemer zochsel isodi. He has to be say emed betzida and also say zochsel isodi. Only then is a chotzer she'ein mishtameres kainu. V'chein there's another din. Ad arba amishaladam shuhu emed betzidam. The arba amish which a person is standing next to is kainu loy besimta. So the, the din of Dalai Ramas works either in a simta. Simta is like a Karen Zovis in the Rishos Harabim, or Betzida Rishos Harabim is again the place in the Rishos Harabim where that's now where the thoroughfare of the Rishos Harabim is. It's on the side of the Rishos Harabim. Or in a Chotzer She'en Lo Bailam. So in all these places, the Arba Amis is Kena. And the Pasha Amal Shmoy says that the Arba Amis is Kena without him saying Zochsuli. In other words, the Arba Amis itself is Kena. Even with Shlemi Daiti, a Chotzer Shein Mishdameres, he has to be Eimet Besidei and say Zochzel Yisodi. Mashainkim and again Dalaramis, he's obviously Eimet Besidei. That's he's standing next to the Dalaramis. And if it's an Asimto, it's either Shusarabim or it's a Chotzer Shein Shul Shnei Mitzkena. Avol B'Shusarabim, a Bestei Chaveri. So Ein is Zeicha Achim Yigia Matanu Liyade. There's no din of Dalaramis not. In Rosh Hashanah, and not in a soda, which is a stay chaveri. That's that's this din of that a chotzer is kena. Now this din that a chotzer is kena applies to a ktana. Mashenik in a cotton, we learned already. There's a chilu between a cotton and a ktana. A ktana or ktana is also tiskula chatzera ve'arba amishula. A ktana also has the kinyan chotzer and also kinyan arba amis. Avla cotton. And we learned because by Akhtana there's a special din we see that by Akhtana she's Makabal Aget, Vinosan Biyoda, and we learn now only a Liyoda, also Chatzera. So a Chatzer is Kena, a get for Akhtana. Once we know that it's Nisraba Chatzer for Akhtana, by a get it's also Nisraba to other things. Mashenk in a cotton, there's no din of a Chatzer of Lachatchila. No, the Chatzer is. Is mitam shlichus and a cotton ain't like shlichus. There's why a ktan a chotzer is mitam yad and therefore is kainer the chotzer mitam yad. Mashainkin by a cotton by by uh, by a cotton the chotzer would be mitam shlichus. There's no special din that the chotzer should be mitam yad by a cotton. And the mele so a cotton ha- doesn't have a shlich. Halachi yud hamatona ki get hamatona is like a get in this sense she ain't adam yochel limser dvarim l'shlich. Because a person can be memana a shliach to do something, but a, a person can't be memana a shliach to appoint someone. That's the principle of mili le nimsir le shliach. You can't be memana a shliach to appoint something. You can only memana a shliach to do something. Ketzad. Amal a A person goes to three people. He says, Imru le pleini u pleini. Go tell these these two people. She yichtevu v'yachtevu b'shtar matana v'yitnu le pleini. He's, he's telling three people that they should go ahead and tell another two people that those two people should write a star and give away a, a matona. These three people that he spoke to went ahead and told those Adam but they actually wrote a star and they gave it to the Makabal. Lake Connor, he wasn't Kena. Because Lepel, that's not called an authorization. That's an authorization of a Shliach is when you tell a Shliach to do something, not when you tell a Shliach to go ahead and tell someone else. And he told two people clearly, he told them that they should go ahead and write a star. They can't give over this shlichus to someone else. They can't go ahead and give over this shlichus to someone else. Just like by a get, if you tell two people to write a get to your wife. So, so if you give a get to a shliach, so lepel, if you give a get to a shliach to give over to your wife, so then you, the shliach could go ahead and give over the, the get to another shliach. That's the dinner. Shliach is Asa shliach if he has the get. Masha'inkin, if his shlichus is not to give over a get that the Baal gave him, but rather the shlichus was to go ahead and write a get and give over t- and give it to the wife, so they could, I could go ahead and write the get and give it to the wife. Masha'inkin, they don't have the right to, they, to authorize someone else to do this shlichus. That's the mili limimsur shlich. Halacha Yudalef. Hakeza Bishtar Nasati Soda Plainis Lplaini. He writes in the Shtar that I gave this field to this person. A Shekosev Nisatiole. He writes this field Nisatiole, which is Luchura, the same type of Loshan. 
writes, this field is this and this person's. It, it belongs to him, without saying the word in satia, is in all these cases, as soon as the recipient receives the star, he's zecha. Avalam Kosov Bishtar at Nanola. He doesn't write that he gave it to him. He says, I will give it to him. Is Aval Pishido the all of Adam, even if there's Adam signed on it, is Le Zacha Makabal, the Makabal is not Zecha. Now Lachura, it means that the Makabal is not Zecha, even if he actually received the Shtar. Because since the Shtar just says et nanole, it doesn't say that he gave it to him. So Memela, the fact that the recipient received the Shtar doesn't change anything because it's not a lotion of that shows that he actually gave it. But the pale the Ram of Fears is Aval Bishido of Adam Le Zoha Makabal Ad Shiemula Adam Kis Vushtar Matano Utnule. Unless he tells the Adam Kis Vushtar Matano Utnule, and then the Kaisum Venaisnule. So Lukhura it sounds from this Loshna Rambam that that in other words, when a person writes a shtar et nanole, even though there's Adam signed on it, but Lupel he never gave it. Masha'inkin, if he tells the Adam, write him a shtar matana, so then they're kosvim v'neisnuloi, so then they write him the shtar matana, and then once they give it to him, so memele, he's kena. She'ena mekabel zeicha, she yagia shtar matana liyodei, oya, she yizak lebe, ayide yachin, k'mishu b'yarnu. So it sounds like that the Rambam is like being mechalik, that you have to actually get the shtar biyodei, which l'chura is not so clear. The Rambam starts off l'chura, the lotion of the shtar has to be nasati, or Hareyu Shalei. Then the Rambam writes, Etnen is not a good lotion. L'chur Etnen is not a good lotion, even if he actually received it. Then the Rambam fears always that he has to tell the, the, the Edom to write a star, and then Utnule, because it's important that he should receive it. So it sounds like the problem of Etnen was that he never received it. Not the problem is the lotion. The problem is that he never received it. Again, the, if, if he received the star and it says Hareyu Shalei, for sure it's Beseder. If he writes at Nana and he never gave it to him, it's the Chavadah, not the Seder. The question is, what happens if he wrote him at Nana and he did get, get it? So, the the Pashas, you would assume that it's not it's not the Seder. The Ram Moruch wants to say that there's a difference. If he instructed the Adam to write a star and to give it to him, even by a Nana, so since he instructed the, 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 the Adam to give it, the Adam to give it, so therefore it works even by a Nana. He brings that, that's Pshat in, Magen, in Kesev Mishnah. But it's not so clear. Let's read the Ram just again, just to just have clear what, what the Ram says. Hakesa Bishtar Nasati saw the plainest little plainest she caused in Satyale, a reishale, is a rezeche, but she gia star liodi. That's clear. Avalum cosset Bishtar at Nanole, Aval Pishido of Adam, Le Zoha Makabul. Ah, now Lukura Le Zoha Makabul, the Ram doesn't say clearly where we're talking about he gave it. Lukura, you could learn that it means even he gave it. Then the Ram says, "Achi yemol edem kis vushtar matano tnule," and then the case of Venesnule, "Sheina makabel zeicha, achi yagia shtar matano liyode, achi zakal leveyai deyacherem k'mishu biyarno." So it sounds like the Rambam is being shaylul in a case where he never gave the star to the recipient. So it comes out that the middle case, when he said it, Nanole was talking about he didn't receive it. And what happens if he did receive it? A person wrote a star and he gave it. So then it will work. That's lechura. What it sounds like from the Ram, Allah yud base. A person says, Nosati saw the plainness of plainy. There's a dinner he does, Baldin Kmeidim Dami. A person says, I gave this field to this and this person. But Vahuaymer, the recipient says, Lay Nosali. He never really gave it to me. He never gave it to me. So the question is, who? So see, each one, he's a he does Baldin that it's, that it's the recipients. The recipients of he does Baldin, it's not his. So the din is chosh and shem azikale ayde yacher. In other words, the the it's, it's possible that the the, the person gave the the soda without the recipient knowing about it. He gave it, but the recipient doesn't know about it. So mainly he's saying, I never received it. Avul emomar kasafti v'nasatile. In other the the person said, I actually wrote him a star and I gave it to him. V'hu emer lake kasev v'le nasan. Is Imam Kabul Maton Ushamar Kane, even the Makabul Matona says he never gave me the star. The, the, the person says, I gave him the, the karka, I gave him a star, and the Makabul is saying, I never received it. So the din is he does Baldin Kmaidin, and it's not his. And therefore, Vanesan Echel Peter Sodeo. The person that even though he said I gave the star this soda away, but since he's saying I never received it, so therefore he does Baldin Kmaidim, and therefore the original owner could continue eating the Paris. However, in Ben Amakabalu Shambali Nasata Lavi Sadazu, there is the person saying, I gave this field to this and this person. And this person is no longer around, alive. And the Ben is saying, My father never received the field. 
So here, we're not saying that Lepel, there's Heidah's Baldin, that I didn't receive it. Because the child doesn't really know. You put the Peris in a third party. Until you make ver- you verify whether or not it's taka true that he gave it, if he gave it. So then it belongs to the recipient. And if he didn't give it, so then it belongs to the to the original owner. Halacha yud gimel. Mekabel v'atona shetan v'omar zeh shetachas yodi eina matoni biyodi. El l'shemen ani olel k'yetzebe. In other words, I received it, but I didn't receive it as being mine. I received it only to be a shemer. E sh'omar b'tey l'hoisim b'tchilose. It was l'chatchil l'botl. L'fisha b'lake b'alti. I never really received it. I never really accepted it. It was all given to me by mistake or was forced upon me. That's what he's tiny. So the din is dvar of kayamim. And then the tafs of the So in other words, a person is believed to say that this item, which was given to me as a gift, was never really given as a real gift. So even though we learned before that when a person gives a gift, and now he's tiny, it's not a gift. We don't, we don't accept what he's saying. That's the pshat. We don't accept what he's saying because Lepel, we know the fact is that he received it and he received it as a gift. And now he's saying it's not a gift. Mashaingan over here, we're talking about in a case where we don't know the fact. We, we don't know the fact. We, we see, we know this was an item that belonged to the original person. And now he gave it to the second person. And the second person is tiny that it was given to me against my will. A bit toys. So the din is Dvar of Kayamin. And the Nishbal says Shvuas Hesis. So he has to swear Shvuas Hesis. Why does he have to swear Shvuas Hesis? Because Lepel, he went ahead and let's say he owes someone money. So that person went ahead and is taking, wants to take this money in order to get paid. And he's tiny, this money is not mine. It belongs to the original owner because it never became mine. So, and, and, and Lepel is in his Rishus. So he has to swear Shvuas Hesis that it's not his and therefore he doesn't have to transfer it to the person he owes money to. And now he gives it back to the original owner. So Allah Yidgim was talking in the case that the recipient is tiny that it's not really his. What would be Fakert? Allah Yidalaton Hanoisan Vyamer. That I did, never really gave it to you as a present. Shemarata Allah Isha Isha Amma Shlaimi Daiti Nisati. I wasn't really aware what I was doing, and I gave it to you. Exuli Biyotko, you're a Gazlan. You gave it to me as a present. Or there's an item that we know belonged to Reuven. And now it's finding itself by Shimon. Reuven is tiny that it's still his. And Shimon is tiny, no, it's mine. So then, then it's Fakert. So Shimon, which now has the item in his possession, he swears the Shua's that the item is his. And Venifta, so he is Potter.